right now you guys i'm actually making a video right now so brian thank you for your inspiration we are at three minutes and five seconds of filming all right so i'm gonna come down here to the base and i'm gonna do these dark parts and what's called a contour line so contour lines are those rounded lines and i'm going soft right now in case i want to come back in and change colors And just lay out all your dark parts and shadows as well as your light parts too and this technique of shading you can use on a lot of different things it's a very very simple way of layering so i want you guys to practice this and then you can start mixing other colors Now I'm doing what's called cross contouring, where I'm coming through in two directions. And the reason I'm doing that is to create texture or a layer. I'll come back in with another color so it doesn't show up so perfectly, because you know we want this to look more realistic. So I can scumble too with rounded circular lines. There's a lot of ways to draw. A lot of ways to blend for sure. Just like there's a lot of perspectives on how to do a lot of things and how to see, how to feel, experience life. There's so many different things and ways of being who am I to judge? All right, so once I get here, then I start blending other colors. This is when I wanna be creative about color blending. So I'm gonna start picking up different options and see what they might be like. I've got a few here. I might even use purple. I love the idea of peach. I already have white. I have this rolled up Tortillon stump tool and also I have a colorless blending Tool, which I love using these. They just pull everything together neatly. However, this is not a tool that every student will have at home. So I understand that and I'm aware of that. So